Hey there, welcome to my channel. We are going to make little scrappy pinwheels today. Go ahead and follow along. Leave any comments down in the comment box. Like and subscribe. Here we go. We're gonna start by making five and a half inch strips out of our yardage. Take the one ruler, line it up for five and a half. Use a larger one, cut those strips. When you lay out the strips and you stack them up, you can cut more squares at the same time. Make sure and cut those selvages off first. Line up those lines. And I completely forget that I am not left-handed and I make wrong cuts sometimes. Flip it around, line it up five and a half inches right there and you have a big old stack of five and a half inch squares. What I love about this is I get to use my fabric scraps. This is a scrap that I've had in my fabric bin. Just line it up, make sure those edges are straight. Measure it five and a half inches again. More scraps, yay! After I've made my square, I like to put right sides together of the top square on top of there. Then we're going to draw lines on it in an X. I'll show you that in a minute. And I love this fabric. It's out of my scrap bin as well. Go ahead and measure it at five inches, which is wrong. And then I cut it and it's wrong. So therefore, this will go into my scrap bin. This edge wasn't quite as straight as I wanted it to be, so I just straightened it out there a tiny little bit. We are going to draw an X across the lighter colored square. That means that we will get eight half square triangles out of each of these pairs, which will give us two pinwheel quilt blocks out of each pair. We are going to sew a half an inch from the line on both sides of each line on each square. So we're going to do a total of four lines per square.
end of sewing, I always sew together two two and a half inches squares as an ender and a leader. Now we're going to cut on that drawn line in both directions. And then we're going to cut in the middle of those triangles. So then we have eight half square triangles. Make sure and line up those lines right in the middle. On many quilting rulers, they have a 45 degree angle right there that you can line up to make sure that you're getting your cut correctly. Now over to the ironing board and we're gonna set those seams. I always put the dark side up and we press to the dark side. You will need four half square triangles to make a pinwheel. What we need to do first is trim up those squares, get those little dog ears off of there, make sure all the sides are straight. I always lay out my pattern before I sew it together. You have no idea how many times I have sewn this together wrong. I put the tops together, so then we're going to sew on that side, make sure that we're sewing on that side. And I like to chain piece these together. It makes them come together really easy. After they've been sewn on the side, you open them up and then you can put the top to the bottom and you lay the seams one on one side and one on the other so they nest together. Back to the ironing board. I like to iron my seam open. So I open that middle part, finger press the outsides, and then do not iron my finger because that hurts. I've done it too many times. Flip it over under the top, iron that, and they are done. We're making the pinwheel block. I have a friend who, um, oh my gosh. Hey! <laughs> he says hi! <laughs> 